video we're going to have a look at some of the things that can affect the performance of the CPU. The first one we're going to have a look at is the clock speed. Now this is measured in hertz and most commonly megahertz or gigahertz. And this is how many cycles of the fetch execute cycle can be performed in one second. So a computer that's advertised as having 2 gigahertz speed can perform 2 billion fetch execute cycles in one second. However, the faster the computer, the more heat is generated. So the system needs to be put in place to reduce the amount of heat that's created. The next thing we're going to have a look at is cache size. Now we looked at cache in a previous video, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it here. Suffice to say, it's a small amount of memory that's attached to the CPU. So the data doesn't have too far to travel between the memory and the CPU to be processed. However, the cache is generally quite small, but if you have a larger cache size, then that means that you can store information a lot closer to the CPU, and it doesn't have to make so many trips to RAM. Now it might not seem very far when you look at a motherboard, but when you've got billions of messages being sent every second, then it does make a difference, and if you can make that journey shorter, then it makes the whole thing run a bit faster. The final thing is the number of cores. Now cores are the number of processing units in the CPU. If it has a single core, it can just process one instruction at a time. But if it has a dual core, then that means there are two cores in place and it can process twice the number of instructions. A quad core means there's four cores and it can process four instructions at once, which will make the whole thing a lot faster. So the three things that can affect the performance of the CPU is clock speed, cache size and cores. Thank you.